Spinning things move sideways. Please consider the following. The following. We bounce a basketball, push it straight down to the floor. It bounces up at the same angle it hits. You okay? You okay? Spinning things don't always work that way. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. It's our gyroscope of science. And right now, it's not spinning. If I push on it sideways, it moves sideways. If I push down on it, it moves down. But watch what happens when it starts spinning. Now it's spinning. Watch what happens when I push on it sideways. When I push sideways, it moves down. Now watch what happens when I push down on it. It moves sideways. If you push on a spinning thing, it will push back at a right angle. Now you can really see it with a flying disc. A flying disc is a spinning thing. And spinning things push back sideways at a right angle. So if you want to make it bounce off the floor, you hit it on the side. If it's spinning this way, you hit it on this side, and it will twist and go up like that. Huh, there. Now, if it's spinning the other way, then you have to hit it on the other side to make it twist and go up. See? Right up. See, when you push on a spinning thing sideways, it pushes back sideways at a right angle. Because it's the cross product of two vectors. You know, I mean, first of all, you got the spin vector of the disc like that. Uh -huh. Then you have the torque vector hitting yeah. the floor like that, which would be uh, like that. So oh. then you cross the spin into the torque and you get a new vector no. out this way. See, and that's the vector of it, of it nosing no. up. See, anyway, it's the cross product of vectors. Yeah. Oh, anyway, uh, thank you for joining me on Consider the Following.